Hello everyone, this is Akaya, and I'm bringing you a video right now of a project I've been working on, which uh, is actually one of two big projects that I'm involved with right now. Um, this is one of them which I'm going to give some details on right now, and there's another one which I cannot currently announce, but that is why there has been a shortage of casting videos on my channel recently. Um, but this is the big announcement for the first project I mentioned. This is called AlphaCaster, and this is a program written specifically for uh, tournament and vodcasting. And basically, what it is is an overlay that allows you to display a bunch of tournament details. I know that up until now, um, a lot of people have been superimposing images after the fact uh, when they're rendering, like you, and that's actually one of the things that I've used a lot is um, I'll just throw an image in my renderer and uh, and just basically place it, superimpose it after the fact and then render the video just with that image placed on top of it rather than capturing the video live or some people who capture it live will use um, I think it's called Infin Viewer or something like that where you have to basically turn all of the display options off so all you see is a box around the window um, and that's pretty useful although um, I, I used that for a little bit as in some testing stuff and I didn't like how it had the border around it so I basically set out to write my own application um, which would allow me to put everything that I wanted into a casting application and um, basically not be limited by any other applications because I can just add basically whatever I want. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and open up the program and show you guys around real quick just because there's a lot here so I don't want to assume that it's all going to be 100% intuitive. Um, but basically here's what it looks like when it comes up. you got player one, player two, uh, and then of course you see the race icon. Here's the set score if it is a tournament or a best of five series or something along those lines so you can keep track of that. And then I've got a little SC2 logo up here. Now I am currently working on cleaning up some of the images a little bit. You can see there are a few jagged edges in some places. Um, not hugely noticeable but um, it, I, I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to stuff like that so I'm trying I'm not really a huge artist but I'm trying my best to kind of even some of that out so I'll be posting another version hopefully with some of that stuff cleaned up a little bit um, but I did want to go ahead and show you the functionality over here on the left this is the um, player detail settings and this is going to have all the settings for the application here which you can change on the fly as you're casting and this by the way is movable you can just go ahead and click um, anywhere that's not like one of the controls and you can move this so if you've got Got, like multiple displays you can go ahead and throw this on another display or something like that just basically put it somewhere out of the way so that you can get to it um, but it's not actually in your casting window or whatever and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some information in here I'm gonna put my name in there I'm gonna play as the orange Zerg and I'm gonna play against 13 my fellow caster and compatriot who I've played with quite a bit and casted with quite a bit and let's see here, let's just go ahead and make him the red Protoss. Um, and so once you've updated the information that you want here, um, and you can all, you'll can you notice you can also adjust the font size here if you want to, to um, you just pop all that information in here, hit update player info, and you'll notice all the uh, colors are updated, the text is colored for whatever player color you selected, it changes the race icon so that you know what races everybody is, um, and then you can also change the score, so I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm winning in a best of seven series right now, three to one, update that, there you go, there's the set score right there being updated. Um, and then there's also an option to toggle on and off the player color as the name. Um, and obviously, if you check this, it'll put a colored box next to the name and display the name in plain white text. Um, if that's not checked, it'll just display the player's name in whatever color text you select for that player. So that's pretty simple, straightforward. Um, the lock overlay option, basically, right now, if you click on the overlay anywhere, you can just move it if you want to. Um, so basically, you can place it wherever you know you want to have it for your cast. So I'm just going to go and throw it right there. And then if you click the lock overlay option, it no longer lets you move it. So if you're in the middle of clicking on a bunch of stuff and casting, you don't actually click and drag and move that layover or overlay because obviously you don't want to do that in the middle of a cast. Um, I've also added a hide overlay option. So if you're in between games and live streaming a tournament or something along those lines, you can just click on that hide overlay. And you can even update. So I'm just going to go ahead and change this to uh, another guy that I play with. I am Jax Guns. Um, and he is, we'll just make him a Terran, 
and change his race to green and then update player info so all that information is going to be updated and then you can unhide the overlay so basically you can also use that to make all the changes and stuff like that in between games and then you can unhide it and all those changes will be applied when you unhide it um, the next option is the always on top option which um, I'm just going to go ahead and pull up a folder here you'll notice that right now I can actually put this folder over top of the overlay which you know if you've got the game open obviously you don't want that to be an issue so if you click the always on top it'll just make it so that you can't put anything over top of it um, I, I do want to note here though that that is only for windowed version if you do windowed or full screen windowed if you do it on just full screen version the overlay will not show over top of it still so I just want to make sure that that's clear to everybody um, and Another option that I just recently added is the change overlay logo. The SC2 logo in the middle here, you'll notice, uh, is right up at the top, and you have the ability to change that. I'm just going to go ahead and go into Dropbox here, and I've got a caster icon here. I'm just going to go ahead and set that, and you can change that image overlay there. Um, it just automatically resizes it. It's a perfect square, um, so just make sure whatever image you put in there is... Um, you know the same wide as it is high in pixels um, and that'll make sure that you don't see any abnormal stretching or anything like that and then of course it does have transparency so if you're gonna have uh, diagonal or round edges or anything like that just make sure they're all cropped out real nicely in the original photo and then that'll make sure that they show up real nice on the uh, on the overlay there and the background will come through okay um, the there's only a couple more things I want to show you guys about this real quick um, one is the resize overlay here which I am still kind of tweaking a little bit um, it it generally works but it's not a hundred percent perfect so I'm probably gonna tweak that a little bit and try to make it a little bit more um, accurate and robust because if you play if you keep plus and minusing it a ton stuff slowly gets off because there's something wrong with the math just I think it's something in the rounding or whatever but I gotta tweak that to make it perfect but um, as you can see it's it's pretty close so if you wanna make it bigger or smaller um, generally everything should be where it is um, and then of course if if it starts to look really wonky or you just wanna set it back to the original there's just a reset size button there and it'll just put it back to the standard location size and all that kinda of stuff um, and the last thing I want to show you, um, this is specifically for people that are using the Infin or Erfin or whatever viewer that is where you put, uh, it lets you overlay an image over the application or over StarCraft 2 while you're casting. Um, I have an add image overlay button here. So what that does is that's going to go ahead and give you an option to select what image you want to add. And um, I've actually got somewhere in here. Oh man, I probably should have had this signed up or lined up before I started doing this video. I guess it doesn't particularly matter. I just wanted to use the one that I use for all my casts. But I do not see it. There's my signature for some forums. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to use one of my uh, SCBG open images, maybe? No. Okay, well, we'll just go ahead and use the avatar that I was creating. Hey, there's the avatar. Um, and basically you can click and drag this anywhere you want to you'll see you have a border to resize so you can make it the size you want you can place it and then you'll notice here there's an image overlays uh, panel that popped up here now um, and this will allow you to manage multiple overlays so I'm just gonna go ahead and add another one in here for effect so that we can uh, kinda demonstrate that functionality real quick there's another one right there so you can make them uh, you know resize them put them wherever you want and then you can manage them you can just pop between them and uh, there's a couple options that you have here for each overlay um, there's the always on top option which just does the same thing as the overlay for the player details up at the top here it just makes it so that that image is always on top no matter what else you put on front of it um, there's also a hide option here so you can hide a specific overlay if you want to um, a lock option so that if you've got an overlay placed and again you don't want to accidentally click on it and move it during a cast you can go ahead and click that lock and it's not going to go anywhere if you click on it um, and then the resize option here this is checked by default so that when you initially open it you can resize it and place it where you want it and then of course when you uncheck it 
this is the big thing that, as I mentioned, bothered me about the infant viewer is that the border would not go away. So if you uncheck that resize option, you can get the border to go away and just get a clean image over top of your casting without having to worry about that goofy looking border over top of it. So I don't know if that's a big deal for you guys or not, but that's something that really bothered me. So I, I did, that was one of the things that really spurred me getting into this so that I could actually make it do all this. Uh, and then of course, if you want to, if you've got an image in this uh, image overlays queue here that you want to get rid of, you can just select it, hit delete overlay, that'll get rid of it. Um, and then of course you'll still have your other overlays available here to mess with if you want to. So um, that's all the basic functionality. Um, I created this program specifically for my own uses and needs. So right now it's basically got the whole laundry list of stuff in there that I want to use it for. But um, if there are any other people in the community, in the StarCraft II community who do casting or tournaments or anything like that, um, and there's specific functionality that you want that I don't have in the application currently, um, please feel free to send me uh, a PM on uh, YouTube or you can email me at akaya.scbg at gmail.com that's A-C-H-A-I-A dot S-C-B-G at gmail.com <coughs> excuse me and um, I'm definitely open to adding more functionality into this um, if people have some good ideas. So definitely don't be shy if there's something that you guys would like to see in the application that is not currently in there if you're going to be using it. Um, and that is basically it. So um, if you guys like the application, feel free to use it. I'm not trying to sell it or anything like that. I'm just putting it out there for the community to use, and I just wanted to create this quick tutorial video so that um, anybody that had questions about it could figure out how to use it pretty easily. Um, oh, oh my gosh, I just realized I almost forgot one little thing. This is not a huge deal, but if you ever wanted to use this for casting and you don't want to necessarily use it for a best of five or a tournament game, there is a show score checkbox here, and that just hides the score overlay. So then basically you'll just have you know the overlay with the icon and the player info with no score so yeah that was the last thing but anyways that's the uh... that's the entire application there guys and like i said if you have any recommendations for additional functionality if you're going to be using the application shoot me an email akai.scbg at gmail dot com and uh... otherwise thanks for watching guys and uh... like i said i've been really busy with this and one other project I'm going to do my best to get some games up here very, very soon so that you guys have more casting to watch because I know, especially right now, there's not a lot of content going up with Day 9 and everybody taking off time for Christmas break. And, of course, I've taken some time for Christmas break in the midst, midst of this as well. So happy holidays to everyone, and uh, have a splendid new year, and I'll try to do my best to uh, get up some more videos for you soon. Thanks for watching, guys.